No portal atlas. A man forever voyaging by... Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? Now that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas! Psst, hey, Bat. Hey, Batsy. Oops. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Wow, an all quartz wall. Impressive. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Well, that doesn't sound like the deal we made. You trying to change our terms? Think of this as a shiny new deal. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. Hmm. Of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. Not gonna lie, guys, it's bad. We're in a world where everyone is forced to compete in these crazy games and will be prisoners forever if I don't win. Uh, that is bad. I'm so sorry you guys got roped into this. Yeah, that's not the best. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just... Wow, such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend, Reuben. Sup? I've heard all about him. Your best friend. 
Your partner in crime. Who, uh, who's that? Reuben, of course. No, he's not. Reuben's a pig. Uh, yeah, funny story. Name is Reuben, but yeah, not a pig. Mafia. <sighs> so you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse. Incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? I don't believe it. You're just a dirty cheater. You know that I'm gonna win, so you're just trying to stack the deck however you can. You wound me, Jesse. Your barbed words. Ouch. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. Uh, yeah. Except the part where Jesse would be stuck here forever. No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. Play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you. And you won't win anyway. Slab! Get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. Uh. <laughs> You're okay! What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh, Guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. I don't trust Hadrian. No way was I going to take any shady deal from him. You're right. You're probably right. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. Seems like you might not like Hadrian that much. That true? Good eye. Hadrian thinks Otto's a boring stick in the mud. Otto thinks Hadrian's a megalomaniac. Not a lot of love lost there. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the Atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good, there's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? <laughs> That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. The old builders make you all compete in the games. Event after event after event. They build up hope, but they're still controlling everything. 
They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. It's useless. Don't you want to go home, Em? I do, more than anything, but... Nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey, Tim did! Yeah! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh yeah, because if it were not for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Actually, Tim's not real. <gasps> That's... <gasps> no way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. <gasps> I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Forget Tim. Real or not, the important thing is what we are all capable of doing tomorrow. And what we're gonna do is beat the old builders at their game. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. What, like you're just going to quit? Yeah. Quitting is like for a quitters, dude. I'll be sure to remember that the next time I've got a gladiator aiming for my head with an enchanted sword. Yeah, I mean, like, your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but, um, those gladiators are, like, super tough. <laughs> like, max-level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, I mean, totally OP. Yeah, but so are we, you guys. Sure, their fists are huge and their weapons are really scary, but we've all got fists and stuff, too! Uh, where's Jesse going with this? If we combine all of our fists and stuff... We're going to be like ten times as tough as the gladiators. Oh, I get it now. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it! Doing awesome. Those old builders think they're the greatest thing since chiseled quartz, but we will show them that that is not true. Right now, Hadrian's up in that tower, plotting how he's going to beat us all. But what he doesn't know is that his plans are doomed from the start. Because they are going down. Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <laughs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs> Gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. You can tell me if you were scared. After putting up with your breath this whole walk? Please. This walls thing doesn't scare me at all. <laughs> Still got your sense of humor, huh? Cute. Maybe. For those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come down. 
Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that gonna be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Of course. Whatever, I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. The Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Deep dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Ah, oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevian? What do hey. you mean? <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. As a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? <laughs> oh my gosh, do you really think so? That's terrible. Oh, wow, I mean, yeah. C could you not tell? At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Gravel? Gravel, that's worse than dirt! Nope, just dirt. Come on! I'm guessing that's the eponymous wall. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come down! Oh. This should be the end. Competitors are like wild ocelots, sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Jesse! Yo! Jess! Ha ha! Hang on now, we M got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Let's hope. Now hang on, Em, you don't have to do this. Already made up my mind. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it comes! The finishing blow! What? <gasps> Try giving that friends thing a shot. It appears Emily has opted to not strike down the unarmed newcomer, and the other competitors are following suit. Wait, what's going on? Em, you are all right in my book. Well, the feeling's mutual, but don't let it go to your head, or I'll knock it off its shoulders. Noted. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah, why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Yeah, we're, uh, confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other, you know? Aren't you tired of letting the old builders use you like this? Like, uh, like awesome people? No, like little pieces in their games, doing whatever they say. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy, it's them! They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! What they should be doing is eliminating Jess. You are not going to bully us. Wait, wait, wait. Hadrian's the bully, not us. Woo! That's a relief. Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh... 
Uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? With Slab leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Facemate finds that idea weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab, I'm so proud of... Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate too. And then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm, even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. I think it's time for us to finish this together! It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the game. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no! And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the winners. Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. No! Mevia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. So help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other. Not happening. Oh, don't even get me started with you, Emily. Oh, would you cut it out with the cheating and bending the rules already? I heard Mevia. The game ends when someone steps on the winner's platform. Boom. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun. So you admit the games are rigged then? <laughs> Sure! Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Mevia, Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, with the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to pay. Otto! What are you doing? Now it's been fun. Really, but I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Now, because uh, I will trap you here forever. I am 100% fine with that course of action. You heard, Otto. The Atlas is mine. Yeah, we're going to talk to Otto about that later. But trust me, the Atlas will never be yours. Useless! Well, well. Just when you thought M had your back. M, come back! Now that you've lost your oversized friend, you really don't stand a chance. Run away, little Emily. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. Oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian! No. <laughs> Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skills, but you're still no match. We'll see about that! I got this, Hadrian! Ah. Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! It's gone too far! It was just supposed to be a game! You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you... forgive me? <laughs> <sighs> this game... is... No! Oh! And that's...
That's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners! <laughs> I, I lost. It's over. I... Oh, I don't think so! It's us! Yeah! I'm so happy to see you guys! I know you said you were done helping me, but I hope you can give me another chance. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. Oh, I knew you'd be back. Thanks for not doubting me. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome! Here, buddy. Wow! Take this! Thanks. Hey, suspenders! Over here! Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt! Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Sweet. Payback Now what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Mevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime! Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? Time for you to be eliminated. <laughs> Please. Not gonna happen, chump. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. You mess with all Go, of Jesse! Us. I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! I will personally see to it that you and your friends will forever suffer! Shut up! Just shut up! All of you, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Adrian. Come on! Jesse! Remember Spleen! Got it. Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Facemeat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on. 
Hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again! Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Start over. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? And that's when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. That all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. That's what I do. Exploring new worlds, helping people wherever I go. I was happy to help. Well, I'm very grateful. What you did won't be forgotten anytime soon. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends. But what if I'm bored? I'm sure that you're just getting cold feet now that you actually can go home again. You said it's all you wanted in life, remember? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll be able to see my old friends again. Maybe we can have our own, you know, Order of the Stone. Yeah, and you can have your own adventures. Thanks, Jesse. I needed that. Hey, Ivor. Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper, all by herself, over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for, well, a long time. We'll just go with that. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll come around. I sure hope you're right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon, they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs...
belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, book. Take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice! There it is. Home. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yes, it does feel pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw. That's... lovely. Ah, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! That's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The Crown of the Eversource the magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The mask of Cassie Rose, AKA the White Pumpkin. Oh man, that's even creepier looking than I imagined. Pama's Redstone Heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ha! Huh? I wonder what Sorin would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Mm. Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, flint and steel are missing, too. And where's Ivor? He must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. Let's not waste time hanging around. We have to stop him.
Well, in a very unfortunate and unexpected turn of events, it appears we are in the land of zombies that are indeed the size of chickens. Zombies that are the size of chickens. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like they're dying to meet us. <laughs> Get it? Because they're undead and they're dead. Uh, never mind. Not your best work, Mevia. 